Welcome to uh, MediaTek's uh, CES uh, IoT booth. Um, and here, we're going to start showing you some of our existing products built by our current customers. Um, if you look at here, the first one is a, uh, a mobile smart gateway. So this gateway has a, a cellular capability, also a screen, you can see a touch screen. So typically will be used as a post of sale or taxi or those kind of uh, scenarios. Uh, Immobile use that as a reference data into all different kind of uh, use cases. And come to here, you see several smart watches. Um, <clears throat> first one is Take Watch. It's a company building watch and it's a, uh, they're pretty close with uh, Google. <clears throat> of course, they're using uh, Android as well. So this watch is um, based on MediaTek's uh, MT2601. Um, it uh, has a heart rate monitoring capability. It also has a, a Bluetooth and a Wi-Fi combo with it. And over here, this is a, a, a reference design from uh, our ODMs. Currently, our MT2601, uh, based on Android OS, has uh, several ODMs to uh, build the reference design for us, including like Gore-Tec, Edge, and uh, Pegtron as well in China. And recently, especially last year, the case watch started to get very popular due to a uh, problem, especially in China, that uh, there's a uh, case kidnapping uh, kind of uh, case in China. So parents are worrying about their kids where they are about. So Kiss Watch are getting popular. So we have a couple of uh, brands here. One is uh, Artman and the other is Huawei. Um, the Kiss Watch is really enable kids to wear the watch. Their parents will know where about. And in case of an uh, emergency, they can press a button and they can talk to their parents immediately. And <clears throat> for 26, uh, uh, Oh, uh, 2502 rather, there's a couple of new uh, products we released uh, with our OEMs. One is a uh, uh, wristband is uh, from uh, 76 degrees. This is a company based in China as well. They're using this wristband to uh, measure uh, a lot of health related information such as uh, heart rate, blood pressure, respiration rate, and the use algorithms to detect emotion and fatigue levels as well. And moving here, uh, this is a, a, a belt, a smart belt. It's one of the uh, very few examples uh, or first ones that uh, people using this actually for elderly people that uh, their children are worrying since they are getting old, living by themselves, they want to know where they are about. So there's a GPS in the belt, and also there's a, a detection of uh, a, a fall of the elderly people as well. In case they fall, there will be a SM, SMS message immediately sent out to notice their relatives or emergency people, so they will know based on the GPS and location to do the you know uh, uh, help provide help as soon as possible. Coming down here, here's another uh, uh, product based on our uh, uh, 2601. This is a, a pretty cool design. This company called uh, uh, Wahoo, they actually using uh, the, uh, the they're, they're using this uh, gear to replace uh, the uh, uh, existing bicycle gear. And based on the uh, movement of the, of the bicycle, then uh, the uh, customer have this uh, uh, small screen here hooked to their bicycle. They will know the uh, calories they have burned and uh, what's the current speed and the distance they have traveled so far. When they come back home, they can download the information to a computer to keep track of their uh, exercise record as well. So far, we have talked about all of our existing products being built by current customers. Uh, at CES, we are announcing two new products uh, for our IoT products. First one is uh, MT7697. Here is a reference design board of that. This is the uh, uh, 
the uh, world's uh, first single chip for a smart IoT device that have a combination of MCU, uh, dual band Wi-Fi, and BOE memory all into one. So it's pretty cool. We have seen a lot of uh, interest in this, especially that customers uh, at home seems to want to combine uh, BOE and the Wi-Fi. Use BOE to connect uh, to a lot of devices and use this as a hub uh, to connect to Wi-Fi internet uh, through internet access. And the second one is uh, MT2523. This is the intent more for wearable and M2M type of scenario. So this one rather has a Wi-Fi. It actually has a BOE GPS combination, of course, with MCU as well. So we are, uh, <clears throat> because uh, the, uh, this is a very new, fresh out of oven, we don't even have a board yet. We have a diagram showing you that uh, traditionally, customers will have to integrate the BOE, GPS, MCU, uh, PMIC, and Flash all uh, in from separate chipset into one board. But uh, with uh, our uh, 2523, you have one single SOC will do the job. So it's pretty quite powerful for the uh, wearable uh, industry.